Well, uh, good evening. Welcome back to another video here on JB Visuals, where today I'm back in uh, Yama Seafront again. And this evening I'm actually doing the um, observation wheel because um, I actually managed to do one in the summer, uh, in the daytime, but I, I did want to come back. But unfortunately, due to this really hot and horrendous weather, I thought, hang on a minute, let's actually wait until it actually cools down and go in the early hours of the evening. And that's what I've actually um, have done. So. This evening I'm actually going to be taking you for a nice little sunset ride on the giant observation wheel which you can see behind. If you haven't checked out the, um, the vlog that I filmed in June, go check it out because of course I'll give you some really nice views of the town and some of the other places nearby uh, in the daytime. But the only difference is this uh, vlog is actually going to be set uh, during the early hours of the evening and of course, uh, as you can see, the sun is actually setting so of course I'll wait a little while. Um, and then when I actually um, get on the wheel, I'll show you some views. They're the same ones, but of course, um, the big wheel is absolutely brilliant. The observation wheel, which you can see behind me, is running. So, yeah, no idea what time it closes, but it, it does look very busy um, this Sunday evening. So it's the 14th today, so it is the Sunday. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll show you the um, information board and some of the prices uh, for the big wheel. And then I'll see you when I actually get on. Right, so I've just made it onto the observation wheel just in time actually because they've actually just closed it just closed it for the evening so what we'll do is we'll get you some nice shots of Yarmouth in the air. Just see the um, tires just over here. Yeah, beautiful views here, like I said. With all the arcade lights on just over there. All the amusement arcades and the illuminations which are starting to come on. Beautiful views, especially the sunset, especially when we get up to the top as well. Wow, look at that, beautiful view. Yeah, just reach the top. And you see all the lovely Norfolk countryside and the town centre all around you. So that way is Norwich and Acorn and Norfolk Broads. Town centre that way, along with the town hall and the other churches and market gates, which are over there. And if we look straight ahead, you can see uh, the brand new leisure centre or the Marina Centre, because it's still called the same name. Looks absolutely wonderful. We might do a little video on that um, later in the year. And you've got Joyland over there, Britannia Pier. Heading to the waterways down there as well, which I can see. Yeah, beautiful evening. And then if we to look this way around, you can just see Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach in the distance. Can't see any. I can't see any of the rides running now. I'm not sure. And then down here, you've got the Winter Gardens, Wellington Pier, and you've got the Sea Life Centre just below us as well. And then we've got the power station, we've got the gas tower, looking out towards the um, harbour as well. Yeah, you get some wonderful views from out from up here. And then you can just see the Pleasure Beach Gardens as well. Yeah, beautiful evening here. And I'm quite lucky 
but I actually got it here in time because it literally just closed uh, not that long ago. Oh, we might even get a nice view of the slingshot going up. Oh, there it goes. Wow, look at that. God, it even goes a little bit higher than the wheel. Wow. Yeah, this, this GoPro is a really good camera. Seriously, it picks everything up really well. And then down here, we've got some of the other buildings. We've got the windmill, which is the Adventure Golf. You can also see the Hippodrome Circus. And we've got the tower in the distance. We've got the Empire. And you can see the big cinema over there. Who well, knows the Hollywood cinema, but it's now called the Ark. Yeah, Britannia Pier, they've got their lights on. Uh, Joyland, that's been lit up as well. I can just see their little Ferris wheel uh, lighting up. Yeah, it's, it's a nice evening for it as well, nice and cool. It's, it's, it has been a very, very hot few days. It, it really has been horrendous. But yeah, beautiful views. Yeah, what I always like to give is when you actually go on these um, observation wheels, the best place to sit is literally um, facing the land because you get so many views um, from, from where you actually sit so that you can see everything around in the course. You don't get really much views from the sea, but you can't see the wind turbines though. So if I just... No, you won't be able to see them because I think it's a bit misty out to sea. Yeah, like I said, it's still quite busy on a um, Sunday evening as well because, of course, we're actually into the um, midweek summer holiday, so it is going to be very busy um, if you're coming down here or even if you're a local like I am. But yeah, I'm very lucky to get on this wheel just in time. And then over here, we've got the wheel structure. If you want to know how high this wheel is, this wheel is actually 50 metres high, which is one of the biggest wheels I've actually been on for a long time. There you go, got some of the wheels just here. I think we're going round again, I think. Yeah, it's just closed up see here. Got some of the nice views from over here. Like I said, there's the slingshot. And I really do like all the arcade lights lit up in the evening. Really nice views. Oh, slingshot's just gone again. So here then I'll just give you one more nice view of over uh, Great Yarmouth itself. Yeah, I was just actually looking, apparently the Pleasure Beach is actually closed because apparently the lock through's not running. And I don't think any of the rides are lit up, so I think they're actually closed. And I've also just noticed that the, um, the Great Yarmouth sign's actually just uh, starting to light up along with the Wellington Pier which you can just see there. And there we are, we're at the top probably for one last time. I really do like uh, the sunsets because it really creates a really nice picturesque uh, scene. So you can actually see all the trees and the, all the different places nearby and that. Yeah, that's yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous evening. I'm actually glad I came on a cooler evening because these past few nights have been horrendous. I think we just stopped again, I think. Just to capture the nice views. Yeah, 
I'd really like to see all the um, arcades lit up at night. And of course, Britannia Pier, that's starting to uh, light up as well. Got a little fun fair on the end. There's a few rides on there. There's a ghost train, uh, there's a carousel, a dodgems ride, and a giant slide. It's like a little teacups. Wow, look at that. There it goes again. I've been quite lucky with the uh, footage tonight, seeing the um, uh, slingshot go in the air. It's quite popular actually because it's because apparently it costs a lot to go on it's about 20 quid it's got 10 pound per person that's a lot of money <laughs> and of course you've got a nice beach and then of course you've got the leisure center as well just over here the marina center yeah, it's been an absolutely brilliant evening. I really enjoyed going on this um, uh, wheel again. This is my second uh, vlog from here. Um, I actually enjoyed this one better because of the sunset, but I'll, I'll, I'll come down and do a winter ride because apparently this wheel's here for three seasons in a row. So it's here until 2025, which is absolutely amazing. So you've got plenty of time to come down and ride it. And yeah. I think we're about to end the cycle, I think. I think we've had about two or three rotations. Yeah, I really enjoyed this ride tonight. It's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it costs eight pound per adult. Uh, six pound per child. Uh, Family ticket is £25, and if there's six of you, it's literally £35, which is a bit expensive. So, yes, yeah, so I think we're actually come to the end of our ride. There we go, that's it. It's the end of the cycle. There we are, it's all closed up. Really enjoyed it. Right, that is it uh, from the Great Yarmouth Observation Wheel. And can I say that was a very, very good ride in my opinion, especially during the um, uh, early hours of the evening in the sunset. And I really, really enjoyed it, especially um, having a look at the, at the views of Yarmouth and some of the other places we have around here uh, during the um, beautiful sunset. And can I just say, it's always a pleasure to get back on this wheel because it's probably one of the best ones out there because you get so many fantastic views of the area and of course it's 50 meters high you get around about two to three rotations and i just really enjoyed it um yeah it actually closed around about eight o'clock so if you are um around here um you're probably best to get there before around about eight ish it depends on the trade really because of course with the seaside industry um not it's it, it's not as busy as it used to be because I remember when I was younger, um, it used to be busy as anything, you know, mainly everything used to open until uh, 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, but now it's, it's starting to die down a bit. So if you're planning coming on doing the wheel, get yourself down here before eight o'clock-ish, because of course that's when it actually closed and I was actually one of the last ones uh, on there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching JV Visuals. If you haven't already, go check out the, um, uh, the June vlog where I, where I actually did. Uh, for the um, wheel as an early birthday present which I actually did 
uh, during the sunshine and then of course I then did uh, this one in the early hours of the evening but yeah thank you so much for watching JB Visuals I'll see you all in the next video and take care and I'll see you soon and remember keep on filming and keep on editing bye for now Thank you.